hey guys so today's video we'll be doing this set that i drafted up um i found this color combo on pinterest and i designed this nail set with it i love the color combo um yeah so we're starting off by gluing on my nail tips and of course these are from dynamic nail supplies they're square tips and i just cut off the numbers at the bottom and then going in with this sanding band i'm just shaping the file the i'm just shaping the nails a little bit just to get it a little bit more cleaner so we're going in with mccart's poly gel and if you've seen my last video about poly gels you'll realize i did a poor job there but today we're figuring it out right so on the thumb it's like a trial uh didn't go too well obviously but after that i realized there's a trick to it and i'm gonna show you what the trick is so stay tuned and keep on watching because right after this nail everything is gonna look close to perfect <laughs> okay so you're gonna squeeze out a lot of poly gel right at first i did like a big glob at the top and then it got skinny at the end but let it stay consistent um then you're gonna press everything in the center and press it outward so spread it out to the edge of the nail and then you're gonna run your brush along the edge just like that just run it along the sides going straight down to the tip of the nail and that's it like that's how you create that perfect poly gel nail you just squeeze the poly gel in the center um i'm using alcohol in my brush as well to pull this along um yeah so you squeeze it in the center press it out to the edges and use your brush and drag the sides down clean up the tip and then cure this bottom half when you're happy with how it looks of course cure that uh, for like 60 seconds and then go in with another glob at the top for your cuticle bead and your apex um and then from there just assess the nail and see if you have any dips or anything in the nail where you need to add more and do that so here we go again Add in the poly gel to the center and then pressing it outwards straight down the nail. Yep, there we go. And then fix the sides up. And you could do that, pull it up a little bit just to blend out that thing right there. And then you start to pull it down, pull it down, wet your brush with a little alcohol, pull it down, and then clean up the tip, cure it, and boom. So what I really love about poly gel or any gel in general is um, the filing process. It's super easy to file, but it creates a lot of dust. So you definitely need to invest in a dust collector. Amazon has them for like $30. You could get one for $40. Um, you can invest in a, a, a better one for probably a hundred and something dollars. I have the McCart one. I just got it today which by the time you're seeing this video it will be a week later um so yeah you don't want to be inhaling those fine dust get a dust collector have your mask on and do all of that to protect yourself first but these are super easy to file and i love filing them with um a finer grit 
which I'm using a 180 grit, the 180 grit side of this file. After I do that, I go in with a sanding band around the cuticle and then I buff it with a buffing block and that's it. You're gonna see some dusty, like a dusty little clip of the, the nails once I'm finished everything. Absolute perfection. Also, my code for McCart is um, the nail court where you get 10% off, so you can definitely check it out. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so these blues, right, by Madame Glam. Oh my god. So we're starting off with, what is this, like an ombre thing, um, a vertical ombre. So as you can see, both colors are added and then you blend them in the middle. You could make this easier on yourself by using like a clean brush, like a separate brush from these, the ones that have polishes on them and going down the middle and ombre in it like that. I ended up doing that, but just do that in the beginning. And once it's to your liking, cure it for 60 seconds and then do it again. Do a second layer. So I'm gonna do this for the index finger and the pinky finger. Also, um, I do have a code for Madame Glam. It's the nail court 35 where you get 35% off your purchase. So definitely use the code for these gel polishes. So now we're gonna get a little bit crazy on these nails, right? So straight baby blue nails for the middle finger and ring finger okay we're gonna be adding some flowers so here's everything gorgeous and then base coat on this nail or the two middle nails cure it i believe i cured it for 30 seconds um and now we're gonna use an acrylic powder and create that uh i'm pretty sure you guys have seen that effect on Instagram, I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about. That little powder ombre-ish looking thing. And I'm going over it with some matte top coat. Now this is where the color begins to pop. Okay. We're adding some little sunflower looking things. We're going to try our best to let them look like flowers. All over the nail. And then we're going to cure it. And guys, this yellow absolutely crazy yep you're gonna see it in the nail lamp and they're glowing too bad it's not actually glow in the dark um gels they should create one like that it's so beautiful but we're gonna do that for both fingers and um i'm adding the little center pieces curing it and then i'm gonna apply some more matte top coat and then we're gonna take a break from that. Yeah. Okay, absolutely stunning. So for this nail, we're gonna outline it with this darker color and then we're not curing it. We're putting the same yellow outline in front of it, right? And then we're gonna do a little uh, French outline moment with both colors. And then using like a, a clean brush, we're gonna do this quote unquote tie dye ish effect, kind of staticky, liney looking thing. <laughs> you'll see it. Um, and then you'll cure that for, for 60 seconds. And um, I'm pretty sure I added a matte top coat over everything. I'm not even sure. So this is what I'm talking about. That like, just run the brush through both colors. That's why you need to keep it wet and not cured. So do that, clean your brush off sometimes. 
and um that's gonna be it for this nail now we're moving on to the last nail for now and guys <laughs> let me shut up okay so obviously the vision for this right is going to be like a mirror effect now i'm gonna do this mirror off camera like drawing the circle because it wasn't working on camera using a little bit of white and a lot of clear polish like top coat or base coat we're gonna create that milky white for the mirror thing put some matte top coat on use a little bit of black and some clear polish for that shadow effect uh cure that and then we're gonna re-outline that edge Add a little mirror, squiggly line thingy, and then take a break, of course. Go to your other nail and add some water droplets. So I added these with uh, some top coat, cured it, and then I have some top coat on a palette that I used the nail brush. I dipped it in and just went all over the nail so it looks kind of wet. And then I drew in the flowers on this mirror and I'm gonna um, add what's it called builder gel just on the mirror part so everything else is matte and the mirror is gonna be glossy and then I gave it that 3d effect with the builder gel you will see me building it up here it is so put down that little slip layer and then a big glob and work it down the nail turn your nail upside down so it levels out and then you cure that for 60 seconds guys how beautiful right how beautiful be honest it's like what's four plus four guys like she really ate that be honest this is my favorite set of all time yep mm -hmm. yep what do you think let me know in the comments so if you guys did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you haven't seen this beauty right here check it out <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye